haven't told you everything. The city is ground zero in a war it doesn't even know is happening. And everything will change. This war is bigger than everyone. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. New Daredevil Season 2 trailer. This is supposed to be the last big one, so let's break it down. I love that there's so much Madame Gao voiceover in the trailer. She's kind of like the show's version of Crane Mother, who is a character attached to the Steel Serpent, one of the mortal enemies of Iron Fist. That's the symbol that was on her heroine that she was selling. Still seems like she's a really big presence in Hell's Kitchen, or in New York in general, even if the Hand is going to be the biggest villain of the season. So I'm guessing Madame Gao is going to be like the main villain for Iron Fist. And if you guys didn't hear me talking about it a couple weeks ago, they cast Finn Jones from Game of Thrones as Iron Fist. They didn't say when that series is going to drop, so I'm assuming they'll start shooting later this year and we'll see Iron Fist by the fall of 2017. Going through the trailer though, let's go. Daredevil dropping down into the sewers. The last time he was in the sewers was when he was trying to escape with one of the Russians. Anytime I think about ninjas fighting in the sewers, I think about Ninja Turtles. Either the hand is using the sewers to get around or it's using them as a base of operations. I haven't told you everything. Stick also going to be a much bigger presence this year too. And I love that it looks like he's going to be fighting Elektra. It seems like she wants to stop the hand, but she has that line in the trailer where she's like, I'll kill you if you get in my way, talking to Daredevil. So she might be fighting for the Yakuza. Because even though the hand originates in Japan, just like the Yakuza, they're two completely different organizations with two different purposes. Stick's voiceover is just the setup for the hand. There's a war that's being waged that nobody knows about. And there's this really awesome quote about the hand from the comics. It reads, The hand has five fingers, each of which can exist independently of others, not unlike the five islands that form Japan. However, when the five fingers of the hand come together for a single unified purpose, the hand becomes an object of unwavering power. And as you see right here, there are five children, a giant hole in the ground, so it sounds like because the hand is tied up in the occult, they're going to raise five demons. They will form the five fingers that will then turn into a fist to smash the earth. On the chaste side of things, I don't know if we're going to see Stone again. That's who this person is. It seems like they're putting him forward as the leader of the chaste. The TV show is pulling a lot from the comics in terms of characters, but it's not doing exact storylines. So we'll see how much they explain the chaste. I'm guessing quite a bit more because usually you start with a war teaser like Matt. I need to tell you about this crazy war that's happening. Then he explains the hand. Then he explains where he comes from, the chaste. As he is explaining things to Matt, Punisher enters the trailer and he's mostly going after organized crime. So that might be his intersection with Elektra if Elektra is working for the mob. Punisher just wants to eviscerate all the bad guys, no matter what degree of badness they have. Like you have a sliding scale of evil. The Hand and Madame Gao being the most evil, the regular mob like the Yakuza being moderately evil. Punisher does not distinguish, so you can see the common ground for all three of these characters is going to be the war against the Hand. But the conflict with Daredevil is all over just killing people in general, just flat out murdering people no matter how bad they are. Daredevil is a devout Catholic, he is never going to be okay with that. Elektra on the other hand probably doesn't give give a shit about killing people, but because she probably works for the mob, she also lands on Punisher's shit list. 
Don't know what this artifact is, but I'm guessing that Nobu is back, and this is just some key piece in raising those demons, raising the five fingers of the hand to inhabit these bodies. Ninja rooftop battle, gonna be so badass. Hard to tell if Punisher is in prison in that white jumpsuit with blood all over him, or if he's in a slaughterhouse, and that's why he has blood all over him. And I love that visual metaphor. Punisher, slaughterhouse. Daredevil and Elektra having sex in Fogwell's gym. If you look, you can actually see the ropes of the boxing ring. She's kind of like that awful girlfriend that Matt had in college, and they just had amazing sex, but they were terrible together. She just turned him into this terrible person. So they break up. He eventually ends up taking the mantle of Daredevil. She comes back into his life and is this terrible influence on him, but they have amazing sex. Little bit of Karen Page shipping. It seems like she actually finds out who the Punisher is, so I'm pretty sure that she's going to find out that Matt is Daredevil. Even if they don't openly acknowledge it, she'll at least figure it out on her own. The battle has begun. So it just sounds like there's going to be blood in the streets, which I like the metaphor because it's Daredevil. So the world is on fire. He sees red all the time. Fight scenes look totally on point. Be sure to look out for specific comic book panels that they tried to mimic with their fight scenes. And let me know in the comments, what are you most hype about for Daredevil Season 2? I really just cannot wait to see the Punisher wreck everyone. He's going to be so much fun. But just to explain, if you guys haven't seen my other Daredevil videos, when everything drops Thursday at midnight, I'll probably do a video for like the first three episodes that'll just post like right after I get done watching those. Then after I pass out from exhaustion for a little while, I'll try to post a new Daredevil video just like get through all the episodes. So there'll probably be like four or five Daredevil episode videos. I'll try to get everything out within the first week. Ten days tops. It's going to overlap a little bit with Batman v Superman the next week because that's dropping in the middle of the week. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. If there's any bonus videos that you guys want me to do, it's mostly going to be episode videos till I get through all the episodes. Then I'll talk about Daredevil season three. What I'm hoping is, is that we'll get like five seasons of Daredevil. They've renewed series that are just absolutely terrible. So if Daredevil is an awesome TV series that everybody loves, of course they're going to keep it going. But remember, Luke Cage is also dropping September 30th this year. So Sweet Christmas is coming twice this year. I am expecting some cameos from the other Netflix characters during Daredevil season two, but only minor, like the way we saw the Daredevil cameo during Jessica Jones. And if you haven't watched that yet, I recommend you catch up on Daredevil season one and Jessica Jones. The beauty of Netflix is that it's all there. It's already been posted, so it's not like you have to wait week to week to get episodes. New Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. tonight. I'll post that video after the episode airs. There's also some more Spider-Man that I'm going to do, and there's a new Flash video. So that'll all post in the next day or so. And if you're wondering about my Gotham video, I still get lots of questions. That posted on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash emergencyawesome. If you guys do want some Daredevil reading recommends for season two, you can click here for my last Daredevil video. I explained just some specific comics for the Punisher and Elektra to read. And you can click here for my Black Panther Civil War video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.